Two troubled Indianapolis apartment complexes could get new management soon after a new lawsuit came out from the Indiana Attorney General. Todd Rakita is now calling for new leadership of Lakeside Point and Fox Club Apartments after years of problems on these two properties. Tonight, our Emily Longnecker shares the relief from residents who say they've been dealing with these issues far too long. Egregious disrepair that endangered the lives of thousands. That's what this lawsuit alleges, and it asks a third party to step in and take over. This has really been a, been a good day. Okay. It really has. And in the nine and a half years, John Brent has called Lakeside Point Apartments home. Those kind of days have been few and far between. While he's lived here, Brent has seen several fires, sometimes gone without heat and air conditioning, and had a ceiling that's caved in several times. He's not alone. People living here, the residents here and the residents at Foxcliff deserve a clean, healthy, safe place to live. It would appear Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita thinks so too. He filed a lawsuit against the apartment complex's management, Aloft Management, and its owners, Fox Lake, who also own Fox Lake Apartments on the south side. The lawsuit alleges the owners engaged in gross neglect at both properties to the detriment of residents. Last month, residents at both complexes were in danger of having their water shut off after they learned the owners had an outstanding bill of over a million dollars with Citizens Energy. Fox Lake also lost its charitable property tax exemption status with Marion County for not maintaining safe living conditions for tenants and not providing services they legally committed to provide. There is still a long road ahead, um, but, but this is a huge win, and it shows that his team um, and, and the Attorney General take the residents and their experience uh, seriously. Claire Holba with Patchwork India has been advocating for residents like Brent for the past year. She's hopeful change is around the corner. The AG has asked a judge to appoint a third party to step in and take control of the properties and clean them up. Somebody a lot wiser than me said, squeaky wheel gets the grease. And he also said, don't give up before the miracle happens. For John Brent, he feels like that miracle could be happening soon. And listen to this. Today we learned the Marion County Health Department has issued more than 600 violations to those property owners since 2017. We've got a link to the AG's lawsuit. It's posted online right now. Just go over to WTHR.com and click on the homepage.